husband had never read the book. Oh, there you go. He enjoyed it because he watched it stand alone. He didn't know the history. He didn't know the book. Right, right. So. Right. I, I tried to do that, but like I said, I think it got a little soap opery for me there for a while. And I was like, really? No. And then I stopped watching it. But down the road, I may uh, try it again. I may, you know, try watching it again and and see see what happens. That's like um, a couple other shows I need to try again just to see if I can get back into them. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Um, right. I agree. Yeah. Okay. What about, I liked horns. Horns was good. And uh, you ordered Hot Shot Box, I see, Jacob. Good job. Excellent book. My first book I read, uh, Joe Hill, was Horns, and then I read Nosferatu, then Heart Shaped Box. So I kind of didn't read Heart Shaped Box first, but it, it, excellent. Oh, excellent books. So, what did you My think? My very first one that I read was, of course, 20, 20th Century Ghost, but that is just the one short story. Right. And with a bunch of others, but then... Hard shaped box was the first one that I read. Excellent books, all of them. Yeah, but I. Horns. We can talk about horns. Absolutely. I that was a different, different uh, premise, boy. That was interesting. I liked it because it was different. It's not your everyday thing that happens. That's an excellent. Now, I, I can tell you now that I was bad. I have. Actually, not read the book, but I did see the movie. But from my understanding, the movie went like right with the book. It did. It did. It did. I felt sorry for him. I did, but he, I mean, it was a good story. Very good story. Very good story. And give a shout out to Daniel. What's his last name? Our, our Harry Potter. Oh, <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. He did a really good job. Yeah, he movie. did. He did. He really, really did. You know, he's more than Harry Potter. Oh, definitely. Definitely. He's been in a few other things. So, yeah, he's uh, he's per- pretty versatile. Pretty- he, was, he, he was really good in that. Absolutely. But, yeah. I will get around to actually reading the book because it's been a long enough time since I read the mo- watched the movie. Yeah. Yeah. You know, enough time has gone by. But yes, horns. Well, the the premise of that whole thing is is that you know you do you do something. Uh. You do something wrong, and this is how you get punished for it. So you never want to cross that line, right? Yeah. Chris asked a question. What novellas have Stephen King and Joe Hill written together? I have them, too. And uh, is it In the Tall Grass one of them? I thought so. In the Tall Grass and... Because I have both of them, and I could see him in front of me. I just hate when that happens. So, Chris, am I right about one of them? In the tall grass? <laughs> yeah, in the tall grass. I'm waiting for his answer. I said that. Yep. yep. And the other one is... Guns? Guns, Chris? Oops, that wasn't right. Throttle. Throttle. Yeah. That's right. Throttle. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. Good job. Good job. Yay. I got one of them right. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Good job. Yeah, Road Rage was a uh, uh, graphic novel. Mm hmm. And that was by Stephen King, Joe Hill, 
and it was illustrated by, I can't remember who it was illustrated by, though. I have that. I just, I could yeah, run and grab I it too. and tell you, but I can't remember. Yeah, I can't either. It's upstairs. I don't, I can't remember yeah. either. But yeah. I'm not going to run. Yep, they did. Yes, they did. Um, yep. Before we took the break, we were talking about um, Shawshank and the Green Mile. I have the original Green Mile books where they came out in a series. Oh, my God. The wait for those was, oh, I, it was like, come on already. I, I couldn't either. My, mo- my mother and I actually read those together. She was, because when did those come out, Denise? Oh, good in question. In the 90s, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so my mother was in California, and I was here in Michigan, and so we read them together. Like, she, we read oh, chapter yeah, five, cool. we wait for chapter two to come out. Yes, yeah, so... I have I have them in chapter book form. Yes, I have them I, yeah. in paperback form where it went into that nice red, yeah, green hardcover. Yeah, I got the hardcover yeah, and the uh, you know the so. chapter books. Those were amazing, though. It's like you couldn't wait for the next one. It's like really, I, I just and loved they, how they did that. That was really different. Oh, and they and, and it would they were so good. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Oh, loved them. Oh. And then they came the movie, of course. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love that movie. Yes, you know, and I can't, you know, when you talk about Stephen King doing, you know, different types of movies, you know, you take Shawshank and you take The Green Mile, and oh. I can't really tell you which one I like. Better. No, they're both up there. I mean, uh, uh, they're just excellent. And it's like, you know, we were talking before, his books, he doesn't write about monsters per se. He he, he more or less writes about people who become monsters. Yes. You know? And yeah. in the Green Mile, you have two perfectly. Oh, Percy. Yeah, Percy Wetmore. Yep. You have Wild Bill. Yep. Percy. Oh, my God. I wanted to. Oh. But, you know, the same thing that I wonder about Percy, um, do you think that he, do you think there was something wrong inside of him, or do you think that he was just inherently evil? I think he was inherently evil. I think he was a big boy. Um, He liked it. He liked it. Yes, he yeah. liked inflicting pain on pain, others. Yeah, definitely. So, but yeah. my question is, is, was that pain... Com- did I like to get into the minds of people. Uh, but was he inflicting pain on other people because he had had pain inflicted on him in the past? I don't think that's necessarily a... a I don't agree with that at all. And I don't either, to tell so, you the truth. There's so, no excuse no. for it. Yeah, exactly. It. I think he was just inherently evil. He liked it. But they will tell you... But they will tell you that it is. And Who? psychologists will tell you that it is. Well, I, I don't think they're... I, I, I think they could pay... I, you know, they could pay for that. Oh, yeah, it's from this, it's from... It's always an excuse. I'm sorry. Uh, that's it's not true. It's your environment. No, it's not. It's what you make of it. So take and, it from there. Wild Bill. I mean, he just oh yeah wrote him off a long time ago. Yeah. There's there there's no absolutely no redeeming <laughs> quality. Nope, not at all. Percy didn't have any redeeming qualities either. I don't. Think. Yeah, he really didn't. He really didn't. He didn't. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. He was ready to have the boom dropped on him that he, oh, I'm so sorry, please, please, I'm yeah. sorry. No, <laughs> yeah, me. exactly. Yeah, I no, I think he was just inherently evil that way. It, that's just, he liked it. I don't care, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure plenty of us have had things happen in the past that were, weren't good things, but we don't go doing it to other people. 
So I don't I don't go for that. So And I bet you there wasn't a dry eye in that oh. theater. Oh, I when know. Coffee was executed. Oh, it's awful. I thought I thought Tom Hanks was going to let him go. I was hoping. He's going to stop it. I but think he, I I bet you he will I bet you he he was going to. But but Tom told him no. Yeah. It's not here. Yeah, it really wasn't up to him. I, I I agree. I was so hoping, though. I was like, please, please, please. Especially yeah. after he saved, you know, the guy's wife. Come on. you think they yeah. would have let him go, but... Um, you know, he didn't say anything to, you know, I mean, him and the warden had long discussions about it, and he said, if you let him go, you know, you're putting... We're putting our jobs at risk, and neither one of them cared about it. But you know, Tom would not let them. Yeah, yeah. No, they couldn't do it. Um, yeah, it was a shame because I don't. I he didn't do anything. So, but he was such a great actor. Wow, he Michael Clark Duncan. Wow. Yes, the Dark Tower yeah. series. Awesome. He passed way too soon. Oh, definitely. That was a shock. That was a shock. Uh, yeah, Chris, what do you think? Uh, have you seen the trailers for The Dark Tower? Gunslinger, what do you think? I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be excellent. Um, I I can't say enough about it, but I've already um, raved enough about it. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to it. we got a lot going on in the fall. August, September, October. That's awesome. We got a lot of things going on. Well, football comes back. Then we have um, a Gunslinger, Dark Tower, Gunslinger coming out. We have it coming out. TWD is back. American Horror Story is going to be back. Wow. I can't wait. Not interested, Chris? Really? Why not? You're not interested, Chris, huh? Aww. Uh. Huh. Why is that? I don't oh, know. I mean, it looks like I'm yelling at him. I'm I really know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. Really? You're not even interested in even a little bit? I am. I can't wait. And, and why is that, Chris? We should have had him on here. Yes. Yeah, we could have gotten into some good uh, discussion. Yes. Well, can we bring him in? Oh, he's probably got to work pretty soon. Are you at work? Are they've you at work? Too much? You think? How, how do you know that they've changed too much? We're sitting here having a debate with Chris. I know. <laughs> you really think they did? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep an open mind about it. Well, you know, because of the fact that, you know, in the very first one, they've already brought Jake into it. Yeah. Which Jake wasn't in the first one. Right. But they have to move it along a little bit faster. I would think so. I'm assuming if this does well, that, you know, they're going to bring the other other books in. I'm assuming they're already starting to think about that. I'm sure they are. Yeah. So I'm sure we're going to be seeing, you know, Susanna and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our boy, uh, Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. And that was. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more open to that than I am it. Oh, I'm open to both. Well, I'm, I'm. <sighs> Here we go again. Here yeah. we go again. A matter of perception, Chris. I Where, think. Yes, it's a matter of perception. Where does it say? Anywhere in the Dark Tower, where is it written that he is not an African American? Is it written anywhere that Roland is not an African American? Do you know of any place in there, no, Denise, that it's no. written? Nope, I sure don't. No, it's not. It's not written anywhere. They, you know, I think they, I hope they throw in kind of the sisters of, um, Illyria. Oh, uh, the sisters of Illyria. Yes. Oh, yeah. And 
Rhea of the Coos. Coos.